Hello guys, welcome back to our channel and today's video we're gonna work on our 2001 CDU GTX um, We went out for the weekend, the Labor Day weekend and uh, by the end of the first day we start to hear some noise coming from the back It's hard to explain but I will say a rattling noise uh, So we got a jet ski on the trailer uh, as soon as we could and um, I took the seat off and tried to crank it, turn it on, it turned on, uh, but I wanted to hear where the noise is coming from. I saw something related to the engine, but when I hear the noise, it's actually coming from the back where the jet pump. Uh, so in today's video, we're gonna have to remove the jet pump, see what's going on. I wanna see if it loses the oil inside or not. If it loses the oil, most probably, the bearing got bad and I hope no there is no a lot of damage I hope so um, before we started the YouTube channel I got this one and we did some work on it uh, and one of the things that we did we refilled that whole uh, jet pump uh, so it's almost a year so I wish like maybe a bad bearing and that's it when I got it it has the same issue and lost all the oil and everything inside um, was completely burned down inside the a nose in the oh, or the tip in the back the spring um, the spring everything was like burned down even the impeller was almost like welded to the shaft I couldn't take the impeller from the shaft I have to get my grinder and just cut it down so even though I hope that is not the case today and I hope that at least if we can have to rebuild it again I can save the impeller uh, so let's get started take the whole um, jet pump out and see what's going on okay guys I I thought I was filming what I did but actually the camera the camera died so I will go over what I did or what I found so uh, I didn't have to remove the whole pump out here because before I uh, remove anything I said okay I'm gonna go underneath the jet ski and see if I can find anything I find actually two things one of them is a rope that was around the shaft and uh, I will take the camera down underneath the jet ski and see uh, and show you uh, where it was. Uh, but I don't think so that I was causing um, the sound, but maybe there was some vibration. So I think it came from that rope. But what was causing the problem is this piece of rock that was stuck inside the pump and uh, I think when the pump was uh, running it was like hitting and make the noise and I'm glad I didn't uh, run it for long after I, s I heard the noise so there's a little bit of like nick on the propeller but nothing major like no no major damage so uh, I'm not gonna change anything um, so I had to remove the Venturi reverse system all together in one piece and I will go in details how to remove it um, and I will show you the reverse when I, I, I install it so uh, I'll get the light and we'll try show you that that rock was stuck here in one of these opening and you can see here this fin of the impeller I wish I can get in the camera it has a little bit of a nick but the wrist looks okay so thank god no major damage uh, other than that a little bit of a nick here uh, on that piece of the pillar um, uh, and luckily that rock was not stuck uh, inside the pump between the pump and between the impeller it will, it will be like a nightmare to remove it um, I will show you um, 
the wood is stuck inside that venturi let me put the camera down so i looked from here and it was okay it did some chip here it was stuck here in that area and there is a little bit of a neck here but again uh, once I removed the inventory everything um, went okay I was able to retrieve the rock with no problem so after um, before I show you also what I did that was I thought I was filming um, I will show you where exactly was that rope I have a picture of it but um, I have a picture of the rope and the rock and I will post them in the video where they were stuck before I remove them but if you go underneath your jet ski from here and go where is the intake of that bump okay let's get the light so the rope was here around the shaft close to the impeller so that's another thing that luckily we uh, the rope didn't like go inside the bump and uh, like get around the impeller and, and cause uh, a lot of damage so again we are so lucky and uh, thank God for this now uh, let's go and show you when we install the Venturi back what we need to do okay so to remove the Venturi you're gonna have to remove two cables the steering cable connection here and the reverse gate connection here the cable as well so all these nuts and bolts are 10 millimeters 10 millimeter here 10 millimeter there then those are two 10 millimeter back there I put everything back after I remove it to put it back in the same uh, position arrangement then after this you have a 4 13 millimeter that go here okay that's how it's very easy and simple and we'll show you when we put it back together uh, but very easy and simple I forget everything now to put the inventory back with a nozzle and the reverse gate we have to clean there was a gasket eliminator silicone one so I went all, all the way around and I removed them now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean the old uh, thread locker from the screws. Just gonna use like a wire brush. I'm just gonna clean the old thread locker. There was some of that silicone here as well, the gasket eliminator. So we're just gonna keep going again, just clean as much as we can. So we install everything back. So again, just clean anything, any of that silicone that on the threads. If it's hard, like this one, you can get that. Like a small flathead screwdriver and just try to knock them off. So we'll keep going and doing all of this for all four and we'll be back. Now, uh, to put everything back together, first we're gonna need that uh, Loctite 518. Uh, it's a gasket uh, eliminator or a gasket maker. I don't think so, it's a gasket maker, it's a gasket eliminator. And that's what we're gonna apply all the way around that surface here. Okay. And again, you uh, make sure you clean all the old one. I still have some here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it. And the other thing you need is a blue Loctite. Um, the Loctite is a 243, or if you have this one, anywhere. That's a thread locker, and that's what we're gonna apply 
on the threads of the bolts. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna feed all my four bolts in and I'm gonna put a piece of tape to keep them fixed in place. And the reason I'm gonna do this, I don't, I don't want any of the gasket eliminator to be on the threads. So if I apply the gasket eliminator and then try to put the threads, because I'm gonna apply here, I might have some of the gasket eliminator over my thread and that happened before. So I just gonna put a piece of tape around it, make sure I can easily remove it and make sure it just keep all the bolts in place. So let's do this, clean the rest of the gasket eliminator from here and then uh, we'll get ready to put everything back together. One more thing, the, there's two washers here, pulled and the washer with a slot here or a lock washer and then the regular washer. These are how the arrangement for these uh, not uh, pulled and the washer. So let's keep doing this. Uh, one more thing, I want to make sure that um, let me get the light here. So there's two O-rings here. Make sure they are in a good shape and make sure they are still in place. Okay, if you think you need replacement, go ahead and replace them. Uh, because we already had that uh, bumper uh, rebuilt about a year ago, the O-ring looks in a good shape, so I'm not gonna change them, but if you, your bump is old and, and the O-rings are not in a good shape, just go ahead and replace them. So now we have the bolts ready. Again, I can move my uh, Venturi or the whole piece together and the bolts in place. So now we uh, will go ahead and apply that gasket eliminator all the way around. Then after this, uh, we'll put the thread lockers and put it back together. Uh, this two holes here, these are gonna be up. So we're gonna have to put it these piece up to align with a jet pump. So we're gonna start with the thread locker, the blue one. Again, do your finger just to spread it. And now we're gonna use the uh, 518 gasket eliminator. So I think we got now, we have like, I did it all the way around and it's even. Um, so now we're gonna get ready. I'm gonna remove that glove so I don't get anything dirty in my way. Um, and we'll get ready to put it on. So let's get the camera with us and get some light. So again, okay, it's gonna go this way. Just to align it, align your four poles. Okay, I think now we good. Just push it in place. Yep, that's good. So now it's in place and it's flush all the way around. 
So I'm gonna keep holding with my hand. Sorry guys, I'm working with my with one hand only. And now I'm gonna take the tape from the bolts and start to tighten the bolts in place to uh, hold everything together. Again, these are the three mil 13 millimeters. The torque for these uh, um, four bolts should be 16 foot pounds, so it's not much. I'm not gonna really use my torque wrench, I'm just gonna do with my hand till I feel they are tight. Again, 16 foot pounds is not that much. You guys want to use your torque range and torque then that's okay but for me i just will go with the hand tight okay. one more i'll be done these four then after this we'll be back to connect the reverse and the steering cable okay guys for the reverse cable here There is washer and not on this side. And the same on the other side, that piece will go in. It's kind of a washer and there's like a, I don't know what it's called, but there is another metal piece that will go inside that end. So let me take that washer and nut off. Okay. So that's the metal sleeve I was talking about, and that's what go inside here, okay. And I move the reverse gate back, get my bolt in, put my washer in, and then we'll put my nut. The torque, the, the lock nut, and the torque for it is a 62 inch uh, bound, not foot bound. Again, that's another thing that just like don't over tighten, it's just hand tight. Um, and that uh, will be it. The other side will be the same torque amount. It's a, a 62 inch bound. And these two here are 10 millimeters. So we have a 10 millimeter socket and we have a ten millimeter wrench. Again guys don't over tighten it, you don't want to strip it and go through buying new stuff. So let's go to the other side, now everything is good and now that's what only move when you have the jet ski lever into reverse. Uh, let's go to the other side here and do the steering one. And our model here, the GTX, there's only washer in the top. There is no washer down here. So it's only washer in one end. So again, we just... do this okay guys um, we removed the bolt and nuts again only one washer in our GTX model that that uh, junction here is gonna be in the top so make sure that will be in the top feed your bolt in through it and through the hole here okay let me see yep and now we're gonna get the nut. And again, these are two 10 millimeters. And the torque, as I mentioned, is gonna be 62 uh, inch, inch, not foot, 62 inch pound. So, let's 
so again just to have a little bit hand tied don't go crazy guys with uh, torquing these uh, nuts and uh, and bolts okay that's it that's tight enough you want to make sure you test everything make sure everything is working correctly so we'll go ahead in the front turning left turning right yep I hope that video is helpful for you guys. Please subscribe to our channel, uh, like and give um, and share your video with your friends if any of your friends like stuck with the same situation. Uh, thank you so much and have a great one.